subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Salesforce Certified Pardot Specialist. So let's get started. Question number 1, what should be enabled on a Pardot form if an administrator wants to sign many people up on the same computer at a trade show booth? Your options are A. Recaptcha B. Kiosk or Data Entry Mode C. Progressive Profiling D. Not You? Link The correct answer is, option B. Question number 2, how many visitors per identified company will be displayed in the identified company's table on the dashboard? Your options are A. As many visitors that have engaged with a website from that company B. 1. C. 2. D. 3. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3, an administrator wants to have a thank you email sent after the form on the requested demo landing page is submitted. Where can this be configured to ensure that every time the landing page is completed, the email is sent? Your options are. A. Configure an autoresponder email to send as a completion action when the requested demo landing page has been submitted. B. Configure an automation rule to send the email, when requested demo form has been successfully completed. C. Configure a segmentation rule to send the email, when requested demo landing page has been successfully completed. D. Configure an autoresponder email to send as a completion action, when the requested demo form has been submitted. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 4. What does the Google Analytics Connector allow Pardot to do? Your options are A. Sync prospects with Google AdWords B. Send emails to prospects from Gmail C. Update the conversion field in Google Analytics D. Append UTM parameters to a prospect record The correct answer is, option D. Question number 5, a user needs to change which form is used in a running engagement program. What is the first step the user must take in order to make this change? Your options are A. Name the new version of the program B. Pause the program C. Delete the old form D. Edit the program The correct answer is, option B. Question number 6, in order for the Salesforce connector to verify, what does the connector user need to enter? Your options are a. The Administrator's Pardot Credential B. The Administrator's Salesforce Credential C. The Connector User's Salesforce Credential D. The Connector User's Pardot Credential The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7. An Administrator wants to make a list of all prospects who complete the Contact Us form but only wants them to be added the first time they complete the form. If a prospect is ever removed from the list, they shouldn't be able to get added back to it. What is a recommended way to create this type of list? Your options are A. Use a completion action on the form to automatically add anyone who completes it to the list. B. Use a dynamic list that matches prospects as they complete the form. C. Use an automation rule where prospects who complete the form will match the rule once, and be added to the list. D. Use table actions to add prospects who have completed the form to the list. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 8, which Pardot asset would an administrator create in order to collect the information form prospects who are interested in being for an upcoming product launch? Your options are A. Engagement program with product launch details B. Email template with a form embedded into the HTML C. Landing page without a form D. Landing page with a form The correct answer is, option A. Question number 9, which type of custom field can be created within Pardot? Your options are, A. Campaign, Opportunity, Prospect. B. Case, Contact, Lead. C. Account, Prospect, User. D. Account, Opportunity, Prospect. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 10. Which three activities can increase or decrease a score in the baseline scoring system? Choose three answers. 
Your options are A. Landing page error B. Unsubscribe from email C. Assign to a user D. Webinar attended E. Form submission The correct answers are, option A, D, and E. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.